Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, the final game of three game series here uh, between the Dodgers Royals and a good series win uh, for the Dodgers, a 3 to nothing win uh, behind two uh, home runs from Otani and Freeman added one as well, the only three Dodger runs on the three solo home runs. Uh, Otani and Freeman went back to back there in that uh, sixth inning, got two runs, got one in the third, one in the third on a Shohei uh, solo homer, one in, two in the sixth, one from a Shohei homer, and one from Freeman. So yeah, uh, they're the only people with multiple base hits in this game. Freeman's been really good uh, in this these last few games. He's starting to heat up. Uh, but a good series win, I'll take it, against a good Royals team. They're young, but they're a good team. I thought Brady, Brady Singer was fine. Uh, this is kind of a low-scoring game besides the homers. Uh, Dodgers only had five total hits for three runs, but they had three homers. The Royals had three total hits, no runs, and one air. Uh, only three singles, I think. That's how good Tyler Glass now was today. He really bounced back after that Yankees outing where he gave it that three and homer late. But he really bounced back here. And he he's, he's just has... that Just that strikeout sub's been more elite than it's ever been. He was great. Seven innings, three hits, no earned runs, one walk, nine strikeouts over seven shutout innings. Tyler Glass now has been excellent this year, especially with the strikeout stuff. Like, he... The strikeout stuff is just so good. Like, the fastball, curveball. Like, all of his pitches just so good. Uh, two shutout innings from the bullpen as well. Another positive. The bullpen's been really good this year. Besides last night, they kind of had an, that implosion. Blake, uh, Roberts left Blake trying it in too late. But they bounced back uh, today here, I thought. Daniel Hudson, one inning. No hits, no runs, no walks. Struck out two. Made quick work. And then Evan Phillips, one inning, no hits, no runs, walked one, no strikeouts, but he got the save. So, that two shutout innings from the bullpen, seven shutout from Glass now, and then Otani continued to have a great season. He kind of has been up and down throughout these last little bit, but good to see him hit two solo home runs today. I think now has 19 homers this season. But the other big storyline from this game is uh, the health of Mookie Betts. That's the big, really, story coming out of this game. Uh, he exited after being hit by a pitch to the hand, and when I when I saw it, oh, that, that felt like that hurt my hand. And it was like a 97.9 miles per hour fastball. Uh, he, he immediately crumbled to the ground after being hit, and he stayed down for a little bit, and that looked like it hurt. And if he's out for a significant amount of time... I don't know what. I don't know what they or what they what are they gonna do? Is Miguel Rawls gonna play shortstop full time, or at least for a little bit until Mookie's back? But that looked hurt. And you can say, "Oh, he's a crybaby," but if you got hit by a 98 miles per hour fastball, you'd be on the ground crying too. But I don't know how long he's gonna be out. I don't know. He could be he could be out two weeks. He could be out longer. Who knows? I don't know if he'll be back anytime soon, though. He might be out two or three weeks. And it was unintentional. It wasn't intentional. It just sucks because we got the news earlier today. Yamamoto was on the 15-day aisle with tricep tightness. Now Mookie Bates might be on there. But I think it's exaggerating. I don't think he'll be out a significant amount of time. But then again, I don't think they'll rush him back. Because you still have a long season. Why, why would you just rush him back? But honestly... Shohei becomes the layoff hitter, and Miguel Rojas is the shortstop. And maybe that will be hopefully, and they will hopefully all be healthy. They will be healthy for most of August and September to be ready for October. And I just wouldn't sell the farm, the farm system, to try and go and get like Boba Shed. You have Biggio and Rojas platoon. Both guys get on base. I'm not saying Biggio's that good, and I'm not saying Rojas is an everyday player. But that's what you have to do at this point if Mookie Betts is out. I mean, Miguel Rojas can't play every day though, and all the options and all the option and all the options names are not capable of batting even about 250 consistently. I'm not saying sell the farm, but maybe a move needs to be made. I just don't think Miggy Rowe can play every day, but we'll see. Hopefully, our lineup can hold up without Mookie. 
but I maybe could. I mean, I think Shohei could be a, lead, a capable leadoff hitter. Freddie Freeman's, or, or you could have Freddie Freeman lead off. But we'll see. But hopefully that pitch didn't hurt Mookie Betts too bad. Hopefully it's not as bad as we think. But great series win though. Let's hope Mookie's okay. But Evan Phillips finishing off two homers from Shohei, one from Freddie. That's really all the Dodgers offense needed. Tyler Glass now is fantastic. But we just await the news of Mookie Betts. But yeah, the Dodgers improved to they improved to 44 and 29 here. Uh, we'll go over the offense. Betts 0 for 3. Bet, uh, Otani 2 for 3 and a walk. 2 RBIs. Freeman 2 for 4 and RBI. Smith and Hernandez were each 0 for 4. Pies 0 for 3. Hayward 0 for 2 and a walk. Biggio 1 for 2. Wow, he got a hit. And Lux was 0 for 3. Shocker. So Dodgers got 3 runs. Uh, Royals got none. Dropped to 41 and 32. Lose 2 out of 3 here. Garcia 0 for 4. Witt Jr. 1 for 3 and a walk. Pasquantino 1 for 3 and a walk. Per Sergio, I mean, uh, Salvador Perez 0 for 4. Frazier and Fermin 0 for 3. Melendez 1 for 3. Uh, Hampson and Isbell were 0 for 3. So only 3 total base hits there. Witt Jr., Pasquantino, and Melendez. Brady Singer uh, for the Royals went 6 innings, 5 hits. Three earned runs, two walks, four strikeouts. Besides those three solo homers he gave up, he didn't really pitch too bad. It's better than his last few outings. Uh, Dan Altavilla, point two, he's pitched no hits, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Come out after, after that hit by pitch. Uh, Angel Zerpa, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. And James McArthur coming in to face uh, T. Oscar, 0.1 innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, and one strikeout. So those are your hitting and pitching stats and your records and final score. We'll go over the, just talk about a little few, few more minutes, seconds here about the Royals. They're a good young team and they put, they put up a tough battle. But ultimately uh, Shohei and Freeman got to them, it happens. I mean, you got to dominate these next few series they have against bad teams. Because Dodgers were a good team. I mean, it's not a shame for the Royals. Their young team just sucks. But, look, I'll look at the positive way. Well, if Mookie's out for a bit, we can bring up one of our young studs we have in the minor leagues, maybe, and give Mookie a rest for a bit. Look, I think we'll be fine. Freddie, Shohei, T. Oscar, they're damn good ball players. Our pitching has been st staff as solid as hell on all levels. I think we'll be fine. I'm not going to overreact just because Mookie Betts is out. I'm looking at the positives. I think we'll be fine. But for the, as for the Royals, a bad offense performance, but Tyler Glass now is that good. I mean, Glass now is that good. But they couldn't play any worse offensively. Took a lot of pitches, but Tyler Glass now is just that good and strikes out so many batters. He struck out, what, 120-something this year already? So, no shame for the Royals. Yeah, it wasn't a good offense, offense performance, but... Hey, you didn't get swept at least, but they have to take advantage of this stretch they have before they play the Guardians again. Like, they got the Marlins, they have the Rangers, they have the Athletics, they all take advantage of those series. But yeah, um, that's all for the Royals. Not a good offensive performance, Brady Singer was fine, the bullpen was good. Oh uh, yeah, the Dodgers, they have an off day. I know, they uh, travel to um, Colorado tomorrow to start a uh, four-game series against Colorado. And then they got the Angels after that, uh, this week. For, uh, in the Fenway series for two games. I bet that's really all to say here. Uh, 3 nothing win, so until next time, alcohol. Peace.